Hello and welcome to a different type of video. This is more of an update video. Um, basically, I'm currently working on a kind of expansion on the idea of using game engines for virtual production. How to create a lo-fi motion capture sort of system. So currently so far I've got uh, hand tracking via using the um, Vive, uh, what you call them, gloves. I've got these kind of controllers. I did a video on them a while ago. I'll get that be linked in the description down below. Um, but basically I can use them to track my fingers in Unreal. So I can have my, I've already got my hands recorded. I can track my head and hands and feet position in 3D space using VR equipment. Um, one of the biggest problems I've had for a while though was trying to find a way of capturing sort of facial expressions or recording that data. So what we've got here, and I'll sort of show you a uh, better close up of that in a second. But what we have on this system here is we have an iPad. So for this to work, you do need a Apple device. This is either an iPhone uh, 10 or latest iPad. So with this one, I'm using, it's got this little face tracking going on. So I'll just show you here. So as you see, um, as I use my mouth going, ah, the uh, little mesh on the screen uh, takes that data wirelessly transmits it through an IP connection to my computer. Oh, there we go. Wirelessly transmits the IP address to the computer and this is running the Face AR demo sample created by Unreal. So my idea or grand plan is to try and eventually rebuild a new mesh, a new model, that will be able to take my data in live. So I'll be able to record the facial data, separate to the hand data, separate to the position data, put it all together into one rig and actually be able to motion capture a, a kind of entire person without spending £20,000 on a suit at least. Um, the other thing we can already do, also do with this, again I've done a video on this as well, is use the iPad on iPhone as the virtual camera to track through depth. So the idea is we can build an entirely CG film using an actual real person um, to do the recording, but then we can control that environment and replicate it uh, remotely. That's the grand vision anyway. So I'll, do, I'll show you some sort of footage I've taken of it working and how I got it set up. And I hopefully this will be useful to you. And again, I'm only learning this as I go along. This is just an update on kind of where I'm at at the moment. So yeah, here's uh, how I set it up. Okay, so the first thing I needed to do was obviously download the Unreal Engine onto my machine, which I did. Uh, I'm using version 4.24. I have got version 4.25 on this machine, but I find that version 2.4 for a lot of things I'm currently working on works better. Some of the um, plugins I'm using aren't quite yet version 2.5 compatible. Okay, so down in the learn, you'll notice we've got a kind of virtual camera setup and a face AR sample. So I use, downloaded this face AR, AR sample and loaded it onto my machine. I then had to go to the launch properties go to Project Launcher, and I had to create a new custom profile. So what I click, opened this uh, Project Launcher up, I clicked on the little plus button to create a new profile. And the settings I did was, I set the project up to be in this case any project, but that would be um, the project I have open typically. I got it on the development mode and I set to be iOS. This does not work on Android devices at all, uh, unfortunately. And then I've used the face tracking map simplified I set the deployment platform to be iOS as well. And I just wanted to launch this um, within the Unreal Editor. Uh, the biggest problem I've had is I would like to be able to use the um, package to actually deploy onto the tablet. Uh, however, um, uh, these two aren't talking to each other when I used it this way. So I've had to uh, go around this in a kind of roundabout manner. So once I've got those permissions in, I've got Xcode already on my machine, etc., etc. I then had to, on my tablet, download a application and this application I downloaded is not the official application, it's actually um, an unofficial one but uses a live link system called Facelink. There we go. So with Facelink, uh, I'm just going to move over here to check I don't have any uh, details. Okay, so with uh, Facelink open, we have the settings. I can click on here, which is where I enter my IP address, which is the IP address of my machine that's currently networked. So I have to make sure these are on the same network, so these are both on the same wireless network. Uh, both, so this is an IP address, I've got the IP address from this machine, put it into here. Uh, I've told, told it to show me the face geometry so I can see what's going on. I could also turn on the morph target values, for example. So, oop, 
Let me just turn those volumes off so you can see. So as I move my head around, the little camera at the top is tracking that data. I can raise my eyebrows, open my mouth, close one eye, close the other eye. Uh, it is kind of flipped, so when it's actually put into here, it's actually the opposite way around. And once I press play, that data is being fed wirelessly from this device here to this device here. So as I tilt my head around, open my mouth, raise and lower my eyebrows, even just one of them, you can see it's not perfect, uh, but it's kind of, again, a lo-fi solution. Uh, it doesn't quite capture the nuances of the mouth super well, but again, that somewhat could be down to the model itself, it could be down to the tracking, it could be down to a number of things. But as you see, it's fairly responsive, fairly quick. Um, and again, freely available, all you need is an iPhone X or um, an iPad Pro uh, 2020 model or 2019-18 kind of model. And Unreal and a Mac. This again, I haven't managed to get this to work on Windows yet. This supposedly can work on Windows, but you do still need an Apple device to connect it to an iPhone, which is where the kind of problem comes in. So I'm thinking of combining this with hand tracking, head tracking, and virtual production camera to build a kind of fully CG or trackable kind of um, feature film that could be done remotely, for example. So I've been seeing Fisher. This has just been a kind of quick overview of something I'm working on with Unreal and trying to play about with. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.